What's up guys? Uh, it's a beautiful morning here. Uh, today, I'm going to take some of these pallets and I'm going to build a cabinet for inside the cabin. So, let's get to it. Okay guys, here we have, uh, this is as far as I've gotten so far on the cabinet. Uh, sorry, I wasn't recording everything, but I've got, basically it's all framed up, except for I've got to put another runner across here, uh, across the top of it. Uh, I'll probably end up moving those, because it's going to have boards going across, directly across the top for the countertop. Uh, but, so far, other than the screws I've put in it... Uh, everything has come out of a pallet, so you can see I've got some taken apart already. Uh, all the support uh, beams and everything have all come from the middle portions of the pallets, and then I will use the, the actual pallet boards uh, all the way around it. I uh, use those to make the the door uh, and everything else. The, well, the doors on this one. Uh, and possibly all across the countertop too. Uh, my aunt told me uh, when I come back to Illinois later this month that she has some countertops that I can I can take. Uh, I don't know if they'll work for these. I'm not sure yet. I haven't seen them. I don't know what size they are. Uh, so I may end up using those as well. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get just put some boards up there and get it uh, finished off. Uh, so I can get it in the cabin and get some organization going. But uh, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to keep trucking along on it.
split a little bit on the bottom, but it'll be okay. All right, so as you can see, got the sides are done, the back is done. Now there are gaps in this. Uh, you can really see it from the front with the light coming through. There are gaps in this. Uh, well, that's just because uh, these boards aren't cut perfectly. Uh, but I am not really too worried about it. This uh, this particular cabinet here is actually going to be all my uh, kitchenware and stuff like that. So uh, it's not going to be uh, any food kept in here. Possibly some canned goods. But other than that, I'm not really too worried about it. If uh, mice or something get in there, uh, they're not going to tear anything up. So, uh, All right, so now I've got to get my... Uh, shelves put in and I need to do uh, some type of a top uh, like I said my aunt is giving me some countertops so I'm not sure if they're going to work or not uh, so I'm just going to use some of the lumber that I have around here uh, either some more pallet boards or I have a few boards left from uh, that I tore out of the, the cabin when I got it so I'm going to see what fits it best and uh, that's the route I'll go uh, and then vice versa for the shelving so we'll see how it goes I'll be back <laughs> Another one. All right. Four more to go. All right. This is as far as I've got today, guys. Uh, it's starting to get dark. All my power tools are uh, dead. Uh, I've had, like you've seen, I had to start using the handsaw. Uh, I've got both shelves are done. So I'll have pots and pans or whatever down there. Uh, and then the top one, I'm actually thinking the top one is pretty sturdy. Uh, so I may put all my canned goods there because uh, it will it will definitely hold the weight and there's plenty of room in there. Um, we'll just see. Uh, I'll have to wait and see how I, get the, how I do the other, uh, the other cabinet. But uh, yeah. So now I still need to do the top. I was just uh, trying to figure out which boards I want to use for the top. Uh, I don't really want to use these uh, skinny pallet uh, boards because for one, uh, as you can see, uh, they're not exactly cut straight. Uh, they just kind of rip these, rip these down and uh, throw them together so that they can load stuff on them. Uh, so I've got a few other boards. Uh, like I've got some bigger ones like these. I've got some more like this uh, that I'll probably end up using. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and wait till tomorrow. Uh, I've got my batteries charging uh, for the uh, skill saw and sawzall uh, and for the drill. So I'll finish up, I'll put the top on tomorrow and then I will start on the doors for this thing. So yeah, still lots to do. But it's getting there. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. All right. Good morning, guys. Uh, so yeah, day two of the uh, cabinet build. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm doing too bad for my uh, very first cabinet I've ever made. Uh, <laughs> and being that it was all made out of... Uh, Pallets. I think I've tore apart three pallets so far for this. Uh, yeah, I think it's turned out pretty good. So I've got my boards cut for the countertop. Uh, they're not perfect. Uh, I may have to get a planer and uh, kind of even them out once I have everything mounted on there and screwed on tight. But uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to screw these on uh, and then I'm going to start... Uh, getting my panels uh, 
to frame out to start on the doors on it. Uh, now I actually, I believe this is going to end up being a corner uh, where I'm probably only going to have one door on this. And then I'll have a, uh, just a wall here uh, because of the way it's going to be like an L. So this will be the inside of the L shape uh, counter. So this probably will be uh, closed off without a door. And then I'll just have to reach in and get my uh, pans and stuff like that out. Uh, probably just extra uh, kitchenware and stuff that I don't use uh, real often. I'll probably put in the back here and on the bottom, you know, like uh, uh, crock pots and uh, you know, canning supplies, stuff like that. I'll probably put back there uh, and only get them out when I need them. And then I'll have my other stuff uh, right by the door so I can easily... Uh, so they can be easily accessible. So yeah, I'm gonna throw these on and then uh, keep going. So. <sighs> Two more. Alright, here it is, guys. So, got it inside, thanks to my neighbor Al. Uh, it's pretty heavy. It's a, it's pretty solid. It's a solid cabinet. So, uh, uh, but I got it inside. Uh, it's all done, all except for on the doors. I've got to do my, uh, my cross, my cross beam there, uh, and then put some handles on it. Uh, but, uh, I've got these little hinges that were gifted to me. Uh, they were just used uh, off of an old build, old cabinet set. And uh, so I'm going to replace them. I'm going to get some uh, matching hinges and handles uh, for these cabinets. But I think they turned out pretty good. Uh, it works very well. Uh, like I said, uh, plenty of storage. I just threw some things in there to... Kind of give you an idea. I'm going to put all my cast iron pans and stuff on the bottom. But, uh, yeah. It works, doesn't it, Brutus? It worked? Are they good cabinets? Are they good cabinets? Yeah? It's a good cabinet? <laughs> Brutus approved. Okay, guys. <clears throat> well, you all have a good one. We'll talk to you next time. Say bye, Brutus. Say bye. Say bye-bye. You going to tell him bye? You want to tell them bye? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see ya.